first guest. She won an Emmy Award last year for her role on Ugly uh, on ABC's Ugly Betty. Have a look. There she is, the birthday girl. <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, mi amor. Thank you, Papi. Happy birthday, chica. Oh, I got something for you. Ow! Wow. You want 23 more? <laughs> Love the bag and Betty. It's on. No, it's a fake. I got it from some guy selling off a blanket on 6th Avenue. You know, you make it really hard for me to live vicariously through you. Please welcome America Ferrera. Thank you. I love that dress. Thank you. So you must, I, I, everybody who's now back at work after the strike lasted so long, and I know you're so happy to get back, but so happy. unlike most people who just go back to work, you have a character that you have to get back into. Was that hard to get back into Betty? Yeah, it actually, I mean, it was the longest I'd been away from the character since I started it, um, since I started the show almost two years ago, and it was three months, and... When I got back to it, I was really, I was like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Like, can I get my voice that high? And Because, you know, I talk like this, and Betty talks like this, and she's like really high. And, and so when we first got into it, and, and then I had the braces on, and, and I had to break them back in, and it was a little scary. It was like the first time again. It was nervous. So did you watch tapes over and over again to try to remember the voice? Yeah, I had to, like, watch myself to do myself. Uh -huh. It was interesting. It was, I, I and do you bring do Betty back home? Do you, are you Betty at home sometimes? Um, I mean, I try to leave her on the set, which is nice because it's mainly like a wig and braces and glasses and then I feel like myself again. But sometimes it'll linger and I'll go home and say really obnoxious things like, oh, come on, look on the brighter side or something and uh -huh. take Betty with me sometimes, which is not a bad thing. She's got a great attitude, but sometimes, sometimes she follows me around. Uh -huh. yeah. But like you said, it's a good character to follow you around. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you've been uh, on the campaign trail with, with Hillary mm -hmm. uh, a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and what made you decide to do that? Well, um, we, we were on strike. Uh, the writers were on strike, and I was kind of sitting around, just relaxing, doing not much, and this is when everything really started heating up, and I was home, and watching all, you know, all, of, all of the events unfold and, and was really getting passionate about it and really realizing, you know, I really believe that for my generation, this is one of the most important elections of our lifetime. I truly believe that and, and I think that... It, and I also think that, you know, regardless of who you support and, and who you believe in and let's say like it's a great it's a great time to be a democrat right now because we have wonderful candidates and 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 regardless of who you're supporting i feel like it's really important to get involved in whatever capacity you can right. and to pay attention because i truly in the deepest parts of my heart believe in this woman and believe in what she can do and what she can bring to this country now i want to remind you because you are a, a big star you're on television mm. you're famous and when you get to it, because you're new at this, and I want to help you, when you, when you become famous, there are things you can't do anymore that you could have done before, like put an ad to sell your furniture on Craigslist. <laughs> That's not good. I know. I, I know that now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine going to look at a sofa and it's America for all? Like, okay. What happened when they would come to the house? Well, a lot of times, like, so I put, so I was moving, and, and I was like, I gotta get rid of some of this furniture. It doesn't help to back it up. Just I get went, to it. Okay. I, I went through this shabby chic phase, which like came and went, and I was like, I need to get rid of this furniture. How do you get rid of furniture? You put it on Craigslist, duh. Like everyone knows that. And so I put it on Craigslist, and I didn't put a name, I just put like a number, and I said, you know, call me if you're interested. And, and so people called, and that's exciting. And so I was like, come, you know, come look at it. And I didn't think, you know, it was kind of earlier on in, in Ugly Betty time, and, and I didn't think that, you know, anybody would care. You know, if they came for the sofa, they didn't come for me. Yeah. So, so this one girl it, shows initially, up. Initially, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this one girl shows up, and she's like, you know, you look a lot like uh, that, that actress America, and I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to tell her that it was me. 
but I didn't want to lie, so I was like, I'm her sister. Okay. And I'm like... <laughs> That is lying. And she's like, what's the lie? It is, yeah, right? Yeah. And she's like, uh, she's like, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Jennifer, which is my sister's name. And then, so she was interested in the, in the furniture, and I call her back, and I go, hi, this is America. And then I stop, and I hang up. <laughs> this is like the stupidest, one of the stupidest things I've ever done. I called her back, I'm like, hi, this is Jennifer. <laughs> it's like the same voice. I, like that could be the stupidest thing right after a clip and then it like showed up with some stupid blur oh that's really funny but who cares it was a, but i learned right. my lesson and you will not you, yeah. you will not buy my furniture no <laughs> no you, you can bring it here or something all right so uh, <laughs> your birthday is tomorrow right yes all right so i got you something <laughs> I know you love these things, and what, what I got for you is um, that. Oh so, my God, that's wait so a minute, awesome. though. That's nice. That it's so nice awesome. for daytime. For daytime. But yeah, in the eighties, you do Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like in the summer, you throw it on with some shorts. That's daytime. But at night. <laughs> Share his amazing story when we come back. Don't go away.